Hello, friends. Today I'm gonna do something for my nectarine tree and my peach tree and my grapes. And the reason for it is that last year I had no nectarines. Uh, all of my nectarines were destroyed by something that's called a peach leaf curl. And my grapes were destroyed by something that's called black rot. That grapes turn like black and the leaves turn black and it wasn't nice. So I have to do something that actually works and is effective. And I got this recipe online from um, some university and I will uh, reference it. But basically the recipe is 100 gram of copper sulfate dissolved in five liters of warm water in one bucket. Make sure you don't use anything that is metal. And then in another bucket, you dissolve 100 grams of hydrated lime with five liters of warm water. You soak it for a couple of hours, then you add the lime slowly to the copper sulfate mixture and then you through a mesh you put it in the sprayer. You can spray it in the fall when the leaves fall off or you spray it in the spring before the buds break open. That's, uh, that's when it's most effective because that's when those uh, peach leaf curl um, pathogens are activated. So, uh, I'm just gonna do it today. Uh, it's, uh, we've been getting a lot of rain and uh, the, the buds will open pretty soon, so that's the last time I can actually do it. So, I'm gonna film it and show it to you uh, how it looks. Um, this is the copper sulfate that I got online. And then I got the hydrated lime from like, Home Depot and it's um, hydrated lime. The whole 50 pound bag was like $10, I think. And you need to have two plastic buckets. Make sure you don't use anything that is metal because this is highly corrosive. And then after you spray it, you need to uh, wash your sprayer uh, several times with water. And you're gonna use uh, the warm water. So here I have five liters of warm water and I'm gonna be measuring my ingredients. So let's One do it. word of caution, uh, never spray it on leaves. Uh, only spray when the tree is dormant. So when it goes into dormancy in the fall or in the spring before it actually breaks out of dormancy. So my, my trees still are dormant, so I'm gonna spray it today. So these are very corrosive materials, so that's why I'm wearing the mask and gloves. You don't have to wear the mask, it's just optional. But uh, I, I'd rather be more careful. I think it may be like three and a half tablespoons. So this is one tablespoon. One tablespoon is 19 grams. So two tablespoons. Three. Four. Five, so five, five tablespoons and a tiny bit more is 100 grams. So this is, this is 100 grams of copper sulfate. This is the 100 grams of copper sulfate. It's a five, five tablespoons on my scale. I'm just gonna have to close this thing. Now I'm just gonna measure out the hydrated lime. And yeah, my scissors are metal. One. Two. Nine, 
can. And it's 91 grams, so tiny bit more. So this is this is 100 grams. So this whole little thing that's 100 grams of hydrated lime. You know this uh, hydrated lime is a lot of like little dust so it's better to probably wear a mask when you deal with it because you don't want to inhale it. I mean it's always better to be safe than sorry. Just gonna make sure that my bucket is clean. I'm gonna put five liters of warm water to one bucket and then five liters of one wa warm water to the second bucket. So I got myself some more of the warm water. This is five liters of warm water. And I'm gonna add the, I'm gonna add the 100 grams of copper sulfate to this bucket. And I'm gonna add the 100 grams of hydrated lime to this bucket. So uh, let's add the So that's the copper sulfate. I'm just gonna mix it. Nice and blue. That's the copper sulfate. And now, this is warm water again. I'm gonna add this hydrated lime to this bucket. And mix that. Now this is warm water and it's pretty cold outside. It's about uh, 50 degrees. It's recommended not to do the sprays unless it's like at least 39. So between 40 and 50, 60 degrees is the safety zone. You don't want to do it when it's like 80. And you don't want to do it like sooner than a month after a dormant spray. So that's another thing. I'm just gonna let it sit for a couple of hours. Then I'm gonna mix them together. So I'm gonna put just a little protection for my hair for the spraying. So um, nothing will get on my hair. And it's been dissolving. This, uh, my copper sulfate in dissolving for a little bit. I have to kind of start spraying the trees. So I have to mix the solutions right now. So first, this is the hydrated lime solution. So I've been soaking for a little bit and I'm gonna add it slowly to the copper sulfate. Foaming a little bit. Okay, 
changing color a tiny bit. It's, it's not getting hot or anything, so that's good. So now, I'm ready to pour it to the sprayer. And I'm gonna use a little bit old cheesecloth as a filter. So I got uh, three, almost three gallons. That my mixture gave me two and a half gallons of this um, Bordeaux solution, and I'm gonna spray it on my nectarine tree. You can see that the buds are not open yet, but they will be pretty soon. So this is the time to spray it. So. This will um, give a little bit of this kind of bluish color. To the tree. I don't know how I'm gonna reach the tall branches, honestly. Well, at least the low ones are the ones that are most affected from the fungus. Got it over myself. Have to be very careful not to spray it on yourself. Gives a little bluish color to the branches.
You don't spray it on the ground or anything, just on the branches. Some of it is gonna fall on the ground anyway. This peach, cherry, a spray cherry tree. Of course I'm gonna spray my grapes. Grapes were affected greatly by the black rot fungus and apparently this Bordeaux solution works for it. I had absolutely no harvest from my beautiful grapevines. Copper is antifungal so those black spots and brown spots a lot of them are caused by fungus so I hope that this is gonna work because I'm gonna just remove those grapes if they don't produce this year <laughs> 